Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another screencast by your Earth Science teacher, Mr. Stano. And when we last left off, we were talking about earthquakes, more specifically, basically the anatomy of earthquakes. Some of the tools we use to record information about earthquakes are known as seismograms, or the machines are seismographs. Like I said earlier, seismograms can basically record size of the earthquake or its, or its magnitude, uh, where it possibly could be, and basically how fast traveling. Just a number of information can be gathered from what appears to be nothing more than squiggly lines. We can pinpoint the location of an earthquake or find the epicenter of an earthquake by gathering information from at least three seismographs. With that, we do this process called triangulation. And what happens is when we have a circle, this right here from location Y, is going to give us a certain degree or radius of where our earthquake is going to be. If we go to location X, pull out another seismograph, and now where it intersects, there are two possible locations that it could be. A third and final location will pinpoint or get us close enough to that one dot to say that this right here, this is our epicenter. So this process is known as tri triangulation. And it's a way of just finding the epicenter of an earthquake. Here you go. Once again, this is the three, uh, three seismographs. And you can see that when we look at the three circles, they don't have to be uh, equal distance apart from the actual epicenter. But we have one, two, three locations where they intersect. That is where the epicenter is. Once again, same thing. We have seismographs three. It's this longer line right here. One this one so we know that it's hitting here and then at this second seismograph right here it tells us yep that's it that's our epicenter measuring the earthquakes we use two different scales the scales are the Richter scale sorry there's a little e in there and the Mercalli and there's an e in there also these two scales they measure earthquakes a little bit differently uh, actually quite a bit differently, uh, but ultimately they, t they can basically tell us how strong an earthquake is. This is Mercalli and Richter right here, um, the two gentlemen that came up with the two different scales we use to measure earthquakes. Okay, Our Mercalli scale is based on nothing more than observations of damage caused by an earthquake. It measures the intensity of the earthquake from one to 12. Interestingly enough, if there is nothing really around and it could be a real massive earthquake, it'll actually score very low on the Mercalli scale because there's very little damage caused or very few observations of it. Here's our Mercalli scale and you can just see some of the readings that we can get. So if we look at a category four right here or intensity four, felt indoors by many people, outdoors by few, some awaken versus a 12, damage troll, waves seen on ground surfaces, objects thrown in air. So this is looking at some of our more massive earthquakes or a few structures left standing. Versus our Richter scale. Use the seismograph to determine the magnitude of an earthquake. Magnitude is the total energy released by the earthquake, and this one goes from 1 to 10. Each of the numerical steps represents a 10-fold or 10 times increase. So you'll see how that works in a second. And to see how the Richter scale works, it's, we can go like this. A 3.0 earthquake is going to release a certain amount of more energy than a 2.0. Because it's only a 1 uh, increase of by 1, it's a 10-fold increase. A 4.0 to a 2.0 is a two-fold increase. So here, it would actually be 100 times more energy. So you can see how when we start increasing the magnitude, the amount of energy released can be huge. These are just looking at the two scales. So if you wanted to compa uh, compare them side by side, you can see here that basically anything less than a 3.4 on a magnitude uh, Richter scale is going to be about a one of an intensity on the Mercalli. And going through, you can just check them out for yourself. Which brings us into seismic waves. And we'll save this for next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.